Hello you world's faces, welcome back to a new video. Today I have a Call of Duty Mobile Weekly News Digest. It's something I wanted to try. But before we begin, I want to give a shout out to Error. He's been here for a very long time and it just really puts into perspective how long I've been doing YouTube. And for viewers to actually enjoy my content and stay for years like he has, it really it just really just means a lot so I don't really want to say anything too cheesy like all those other youtubers do even though it really makes me want to all I can say is just thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you get back in there Tia okay so I don't want to make too many news videos so I'll be combining the major news stories from the past week or the past few days when I do videos like this similar to those Fortnite news channels like that Denver guy so first off I will discuss the maintenance shutdown that Call of Duty Mobile will undergo this week and what updates it might bring along. Next I will go into a new potential release date and why it may be the actual release date. And lastly some leaks. So get comfortable, grab yourself some popcorn, actually wait, no no you guys are really like you know mobile oriented and popcorn makes your phone really oily so I, I don't think that's a good idea for anyone. So as you guys can see with this scheduled maintenance post, the servers will be brought down this week for brief maintenance. Previously I thought it meant that the entire week by the way the worded it but no, it's just sometime this week the server is going to go down for maintenance. Now with this development, the devs state that they will try to fix the rank matchmaking. And along with this, the rank preseason will end and all stats will be reset, but not before giving the rewards of your current rank progress. So now it's time to play ranked to potentially get that extra reward or to not play it at all since it will all be reset very soon. This preseason will be replaced with preseason 2 with new ranks and new rewards. Now, by new ranks, I believe they mean they will close the gap between ranks because they may feel like there's just too far of a gap between ranks, just like how Clash Royale would add different divisions between some of the highest ones, so players could feel as if they were making more progress and they would get more loot in between each of the ranks. Please note that this will only reset your rank, not your, not your player level, nor your season pass. These are all three different progression charts in Call of Duty Mobile. Now, a lot of you may be wondering exactly when this will be happening. Well, I can speculate that it will be around the time that they take free-for-all out of the game, as that's what happened in the last beta, and that actually happens to be today. Now, I know many of you guys will be bummed that you can't get rewards from the current rate season, and I feel you, but there is something odd about this. You see, the season was cut short, and the only logical explanation for this is that the global release is coming soon, real soon. But before we get into release dates, there are a few things that this new update may bring about. The first thing is zombies. I'm pretty sure many of you guys have been waiting for it, and so have I. It does seem we are getting awfully close to global release, so it would be odd for them not to release it back into the beta one last time before global release. We can also expect weapon tweaks and just overall optimization. Hopefully they fix the gyroscope. Next up, we have a potential release date, and that has been sparked by Samsung's announcement of the Note 10 and its partnership with Discord and Call of Duty Mobile. Now, much like with the Fortnite release and Samsung with Samsung's Note 9, we can ex we can speculate with the release of the Note 10, or at least sometime around that time, the game will go global. And the reason for that is the Note 10 is coming preloaded with Call of Duty Mobile. And one thing that the devs of Call of Duty Mobile said was that the iOS and Android versions of the game would be released at the same time. So if the game ends up being released on an Android device, the game would have to be released on iOS, thus sparking a global release. Now the pre-order date for the phone is confirmed to be August 23rd. So around that time we could potentially see the release of the game or maybe a global beta as if they only released the global beta, they would then not need to release the game on iOS and follow their statement about releasing both games at the same time. Now the reason I do believe this could be true, the fact that they'll just be releasing the global beta, not the game globally, is due to this article which basically states that the game is going to have a dual release with the new Modern Warfare game. The article states that Activision bets on higher results with a dual launch of Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Mobile. It says that Activision Blizzard reported strong earnings for the second quarter and the company said it expects to drive its core Call of Duty franchise higher than before with the combination of its Modern Warfare core title and the brand new Call of Duty Mobile coming this fall. So we do know that it's going to be coming in fall. We intend to drive Call of Duty higher than ever before through the Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Mobile," said Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick in a conference with in a conference call with analysts. 
Now, the article also states that Modern Warfare will debut on October 25th during the company's fourth fiscal quarter and the mobile game doesn't have a launch date. So because of all this, I believe that on August 23rd, the game will go into global beta and on October 25th, the game would release globally, as this seems to be the only tangible proof we have of a release date that actually makes sense. Why wouldn't Activision release its mobile game along with its console game? Now, next up on this Call of Duty Mobile Weekly News Digest, we have a pre resist oh my god, English. We have a pre-registration update. The game has reached 14 million pre-registrations. And correct me if I'm wrong, that's just mostly China, not even including the rest of the world. And speaking of COD Mobile's overall success, from the Australia and Canada beta, the game has generated over $100,000 in just one month. And for a game in beta, that is just amazing. I say this because everyone playing the game is not actually able to spend money in the game because some people are using VPNs. Lastly, we have some leaks, two to be exact. The first one here is the new skin that looks absolutely epic. It gives me bird vibes, kind of resembles a crow or a raven. I can imagine that this one will be one of the skins in the new ranked preseason rewards. I really want to have that skin, just have my sniper rifle, just taking people out. That, that seems really fun. I, I really like it. Next, we have a new zombies map. Well, it's actually an old one from BO1 and World at War, but its proper name is She no Numa. Now, this leak only further cements in my mind that the idea that Call of Duty Mobile's next update will indeed include the Zombies mode. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. I recommend taking most of this with a grain of salt because none of this is confirmed but the actual maintenance update and the new preseason that's coming with it. But it is really exciting to talk about. If you did enjoy this type of video where I just dump a week's worth of Call of Duty info on you instead of each video having a new leak, let me know in the comments. If I do end up keeping this format for new stories, anything I new, anything new I find, I'll just announce it in the Discord. So that way you guys can be notified exactly when a new leak drops and watch the video where we can speculate and see everything come together. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, and if you are still here and you're new, consider hitting that bell button after subscribing. I put out Call of Duty Mobile news, tips, gameplays, and essays daily, so if that's something you're interested in, this may be the place for you. And if you are already subscribed, I really want to say thank you for all the support over the past few weeks, and I do have a request. If you truly like my videos, please introduce them to at least one person you know, as I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers, like literally. If you know someone that has a phone and is capable of playing Call of Duty Mobile and they haven't played it, like show them how to actually download and install the game. But once again, thank you for all the support. This channel's growth has been phenomenal, but that's all. So, adi, adi.